Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick with the Notorious Fantasy Edit. Today's video, we are going to be doing a breakdown on who won the Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts trade. Which side ended up winning? Was it the Philadelphia Eagles or is it the Indianapolis Colts? Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think before the video. And then if I end up changing your mind, molding your brain, let me know afterwards. Hey, originally I thought this. Now I'm thinking the complete opposite based on what you said or maybe my argument completely derailed your brain you were on board with me and then now you're off so let me know down below in the comment section and while you're down there please make sure that if you are new to hit that subscribe button down below not only is it free I put out content every single day surrounding the NFL primarily about fantasy football but there was a video I released instantly when Carson Wentz got traded to the Indianapolis Colts so I try to break news as fast as possible since I see it on Twitter I instantly hop on my computer and start talking about it and give my opinion but here we we are going to be getting the deep dive into it. Not the instant thoughts. I've taken a few hours. I've thought of it. I've looked at the numbers. I've cracked the case to figure out who won this trade. So the trade, again, if you guys do not know the complete wording of the trade, the Philadelphia Eagles agreed to trade Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts in exchange for a 2021 third round pick and a conditional 2022 second round pick but that second round pick will become a numero uno first round pick if Carson Wentz is able to play over 75 percent of the 2021 NFL season as well as he could do this if he plays 70 percent of the season and the Colts make the playoffs so even if he gets hurt like week 15 and they end up making the playoffs then he still ends up getting the uh, first round pick or the team ends up getting the first round pick form from the Philadelphia Eagles. What else happens is the Eagles also have to eat $33.8 million of dead cap money. So that's a decent amount. Obviously, it seems like the salary cap in the NFL is turning into the NBA where you can just bend and shape shift like Mrs. Incredible your way through some bad situations. So I'm not too sure how much that will actually hurt the Philadelphia Eagles, but at least on paper, it looks bad. Now, first, we're going to go ahead and dive into Carson Wentz's numbers from his rookie year in 2016 coming out of North Dakota State all the way in 2020, where he ultimately basically got benched for quarterback Jalen Hurts. So in 2016, Mr. R uh, Mr. I almost said Mr. Rivers, Mr. Wentz played in 16 games and started all 16 of those, had 379 completions on 607 attempts, which is 62.4% accuracy right there, 3,782 passing yards, 16 passing touchdowns, and 14 INTs, as well as rushing for 150 yards and two rushing touchdowns. While that doesn't scream, oh, this guy is going to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, it was definitely a pretty solid rookie season. Nothing groundbreaking, nothing terrible. And 2017 is the best Carson Wentz, in my opinion, we have seen yet. This is the year Carson Wentz is playing with Frank Reich as his offensive coordinator. And you know who Frank Reich is? The Colts head coach now, which is why there is so much buzz around this trade. This is the year where Carson Wentz is looking like he is going to be MVP of the league. This guy is just torching defenses. The motherfucker gets hurt. I believe he tore his ACL, and he threw a touchdown in that game against the Rams after he got hurt. He played in 13 games that season. Obviously, season cut short due to injury. 265 completions on 440 attempts for a 60.2% completion percentage, 3,296 passing yards, 33 Three touchdowns to just seven INTs as well as 299 rushing yards but zero rushing touchdowns but again he threw 33 touchdowns to seven INTs that was an excellent season for just playing in 13 games this guy was phenomenal he was looked at as potentially the best quarterback in the league and again probably was going to end up winning MVP if he played just somewhat decent down the final stretch of games then he returns in 2018 after the Philadelphia Eagles and 9-inch Nick Foles hoist the Lombardi Trophy. Plays in 11 games, gets hurt again. 279 completions on 401 attempts for a 69. Very nice. 69.6 .6 completion percentage, 3,074 yards, 21 touchdowns, 7 INTs. Again, a very solid season. 
uh, obviously derailed by injury 2019, 388 completions, 607 attempts, 63.9% completion percentage, 4,039 passing yards, 27 touchdowns, and 7 INTs, as well as 243 rushing yards and 1 rushing touchdown. Then he played in 12 games in 2020. Again, kind of gets benched. 251 completions, 437 passing attempts, 57.4 completion percentage, 2,620 passing yards, 16 touchdowns to 15 INTs. Looks very similar to his rookie season. 16 to 14 was his rookie year. 16 to 15 was his last season, but he did end up rushing in five touchdowns last year. So, what can you take away from those numbers? Now, obviously, last season and in 2019, the Philadelphia Eagles were not the 2017 Eagles. Their offensive line is complete dog water. Their wide receiver core was getting old. Alshon Jeffrey constantly hurt. Ertz getting banged up, so he wasn't really given as much of a chance, plus the defense it was just completely decimated, so definitely not the same team, but it's definitely clear based on the numbers that since 2017, this guy has somewhat fallen off, especially last year. It looked like Carson Wentz lost all semblance of confidence inside of the man's body, and again, remember in 2017 when he lit it up like Snoop Dogg, this motherfucker was playing with Frank Reich as his offensive coordinator. Now, to look at the Colts' side of the trade. Since Frank Reich has taken over for the Indianapolis Colts in the last three seasons, they have made the playoffs twice out of the last three seasons with a win total of over 10 both of those times. Their down year in 2019 was a 7-9 and season, which again, not a playoff team, right? But that's not a complete dumpster fire of a season. There are franchises that have wet dreams to go 7-9. and nine. Literally. So, really not that bad. Last year, they won 11 games with Phillip Rivers, pretty much as a one-year rental. Rivers threw for 4,169 passing yards, which finished as a slightly above-average quarterback at the position. He threw for 24 passing touchdowns, 7th in the NFL to 11 INTs. So, just a pretty pretty average guy, but when you kind of deep dive into the numbers, you can see that the guy is very inconsistent on a week-to-week basis. This is very clear when looking at a four-game stretch in the middle of River season this year. Week 5, up against the Cleveland Browns, he went 21 of 33 for 243 passing yards and two INTs. The next week, up against the Bengals, he goes 29 of 44 for 371 passing yards and three touchdowns to just one INT. Then they have a bye week. He returns week 8 up against the Detroit Lions, uh, and he dusts them. He completely dusts them. 23 of 33 for 262 passing yards, three touchdowns, zero INTs. But after this two-game stretch of greatness against bad competition, this guy falls right off of a cliff. 25 of 43 for 227 yards with zero touchdowns and one INT. I apologize for stuttering there. When comparing Wentz to Rivers, Rivers wasn't all that bad, but Wentz definitely has a rushing uptick on him and Wentz also has the potential to be like a top five guy whereas Rivers in his old age just frankly was not obviously the Colts don't really have a choice because Rivers was not going to come back he was just going to go and hang out with his 11 kids that the guy has made over the year so now that you've heard you know what the trade was how Carson Wentz played and the Colts situation what is your guys verdict before I give mine make sure you leave it down below so my verdict overall I feel like The winner here is obviously Carson Wentz, right? I'm not only going to give that answer, but I want to talk about it real quick. The man literally hated being a Philadelphia Eagle. It seems like the Eagles fans hated this guy. Some of them loved him. I've seen people on the internet be pissed. Oh, we fucked Carson over as an Eagles fan. I see other ones like say, good riddance, get the fuck out of here, and they'd rather never see him again. And they're going to end up throwing batteries at him when he returns, like they did to Santa Claus. This kind of helped Wentz, because Wentz was going to lose every ounce of confidence in this man's body. In his body, because Jalen Hurts was eventually going to overtake him. Okay? Maybe that wouldn't have happened. Maybe Wentz would have lit it up, but it seemed like Hurts was the better quarterback, at least in my eyes. Now, to me, overall, the Colts win this trade. They get a 28-year-old quarterback for a third-round pick this year and likely a first next season. I'm just going to assume Carson Wentz is able to stay healthy. While the optimism is here for Reich to return Mr. Carson Wentz to his greatness, it seems like all of the cards are stacked correctly for Wentz. The upgraded offensive line, far better than Philadelphia. The surrounding talent, the receiver core, better. The running back, better. The defense, better is with no doubt in my mind that Carson Wentz should be a playoff contender this year with the Colts. 
Why? The Colts fucking made the playoffs last year. They were really good. They won 11 games. Wentz is an upgrade. If not an upgrade, the exact same with the potential of being better than Mr. Phillip Rivers. And the Eagles don't really lose this trade. They're not really down terrible. They obviously have to lo eat a fucking fat load like their name was Riley Reed when it comes to the cap money. And they're also going to be in big pain because a lot of the fans love Carson Wentz. And they will never know what could have been when Jalen Rager becomes an alpha wide receiver or something. Or what with the change of head coach is going to be. The Eagles may be happy. Will they end up drafting a quarterback in the first round? I have no idea, but the obvious winner is the Colts. And in the long term, the Eagles may end up being very, 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 very happy that they ended up making this move. So let me know down below in the comment section again what you guys thought about the Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts trade. Personally, I was pretty shocked when this happened. I wasn't sure what Wentz's price was. There were reports that he was only going to go for like second rounders, but now it seems like he's definitely going to go for at least one first rounder there, obviously just one, because the second round pick next year is likely going to turn into a first round pick as long as he can stay healthy. Overall, I thought this was very interesting to look at, and let's hope uh, that Carson Wentz is able to turn, around, turn it around because I don't think anyone really dislikes Carson Wentz. I personally just disliked how overhyped the guy was getting for the last two seasons. So thank you guys all so much for watching. If you did end up enjoying, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I love each and every single one of you guys. I'll see you guys on the flippity flop tomorrow with another banger of a video. As always, guys, stay safe. Goodbye.